140 degrees. Nice and toasty. That's inside the box I just made for the solar water heater. Um, I made the box out of three quarter inch plywood. It is basically uh, just large enough to hold the tank and still get uh, an angle for the glass. So uh, I made it 24 inches wide. The tank itself is 16 inches wide. Two inch foam on both sides. Gives me a couple inches of uh, space between just for uh, air circulation maybe. Uh, of course the glass was given to me is double pane glass. I'm uh, debating whether or not to take it apart and someone says there's some film in between you know the uh, tinting in between but we're still getting 140 degrees I'm not probably not going to worry about that window tinting in there because once if I take it apart to get the tinting out it's got a plastic cover you know PVC and I don't know if you'll be able to put it all back together or not if it was a metal frame it'd be different it'd be easier but um uh, someone also mentioned uh, uh, flat black paint instead of the semi-gloss. So I got some flat black. Because of the semi-gloss, has a tendency to reflect some of the um, heat. That's why you may notice uh, the cars are painted flat black. Uh, the radiators in cars are painted flat black for the same reason. So they don't retain heat. It'll help dissipate heat. So we've got the temperature up to 140 in the box. I've seen water temperatures on other batch water heaters, uh, 120 degrees. Um, I'm assuming that's in the summertime. If I can get it up to, well, anything will take the chill off. Any little bit would help. Uh, so I don't have to build a fire. You know, I'm not tinting the fire constantly in the uh, fire uh, breather. You know, the water heater with the fire under it. So anyway, going out um, this weekend. And we'll get it all set up, put it on top of the container. I'll get a video of that. And uh, we'll get some water in it. And I'll get some temperatures of the... Uh, the water coming out. Um, something else. Uh, I just ordered a, uh, a water temperature gauge for a car. And that will be in before this weekend. I plan on plumbing that to one of these holes. Here, there's two bungs at this end. One of them, I will put the outlet pipe on, or outlet tubing. I'll orient it so it's the highest point inside the box so the hot water will come out of there. I was thinking, I've seen some of them where they just use the stock pipes, but if you put in cold water in one pipe and then the hot comes out of the other one, you got like two or three, four inches of airspace above that. So that's what I'm thinking. I'll get a full 40 gallons, and with a recirculation pump, it ought to uh, do the trick. Do exactly what I'm hoping it will do. A uh, couple more modifications I want to make to this. Not quite finished. I'm gonna get some sort of metal flashing, perhaps, to put on to, to cover the um, styrofoam. Uh, you know, hang it over the side and cover this. Also. Uh, a hinge, get a couple of door hinges, I think I've got some laying around, so I can uh, you know, open and close the door. But because of this piece of glass, is only 24 inches or so wide, I think, if I remember right, uh, I could only have so much of an angle on it, you know, so ideally it would have a steeper angle. I might just prop up the back of the box once I get it out there to aim you know, the window towards the south more to get more winter uh, heat. 
All right, anyway, this project is halfway done. I'll do another, I'll do a part two when I get out there. Um, I'll probably leave this thermo thermometer inside, the air thermometer, and then I will get a, um, a water temperature thermometer or thermostat or whatever. You know, it will be connected to a wire that I can have. Maybe inside the container we can eyeball that. All right. There's something else I grabbed from uh, on Amazon.com. It was a automatic temperature thermostat. Um, in other words, you set it at whatever you like to take a shower at, 90 degrees, 80 degrees, and you put hot water into one side of this valve and cold water into the other side of the valve, and then uh, shower, um, you know, outlet coming out of the top, and you would um, you would always maintain the same temperature. If your water's 100 degrees, it'll add a little cold water. If it's, it was 200 degrees, it'll add a lot of cold water. But um, so that's another project, another video. <laughs> anyway, this is Bob working on Bob Town upgrading. And uh, we'll see you later today. Oh, please do me a favor. Leave a comment, good or bad, because I enjoy reading them, okay? All right, thanks.